Hi, I'm Tara. Today we're going to look at a masking text effect in Canva. I have actually already done one of these as a bird. You can find that here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you that it doesn't matter what the subject matter is, as long as the subject matter is bigger than the word that you're overlaying over it. That's how we create a really good effect. So the first thing we need to do is decide what kind of shape or size that we're going to use. I'm just using a landscape size today artboard because of the word and the image that I'm going to do, but it depends on your project and it depends on the shape of your image. So the first thing we're going to look for is my background image. So today I'm going to do a masking effect with a kind of checkered flag and a sports car. So I'm, the first thing I'm going to look for is a checkered flag. And flag. And we're going to look in photos. So these are both pro. Sometimes um, it can be hard enough to find correct image if you're using the free version. But if you look hard enough, you kind of will. You will find it. It depends on what you're searching for at the top. It sometimes has to be quite specific. And, and then sometimes it, it can only be found in the graphics. But the other alternative is that you sign up for the free trial for Canva Pro for 30 days if, if, you're, um, if you're still on the free version. So I think I'm going to pick this one because the checkered is kind of nice and small. Some of them are too big and then you kind of lose the effect when we put the masking over it. The next part of this is we need to look for our actual sports car. So if you go to elements again and key in sports car. And we're going to go photos. And there's actually a huge um, choice both in the free and um, and in the pro. So I might just narrow it down a bit more. And we're going to look for a Porsche. If you could spell it right Tara. So I quite like this one. So don't worry about what is in the background because we're going to get rid of that now in one second. So, but I think that is that is pretty cool looking car. So once you have it um, in position or you've you've selected it, we go to the top and we click Edit Photo. And once we click on Edit Photo, we click Background Remover, and it will magically remove the background. It's absolutely fantastic facility. So we're just going to position it you know you want it to be obviously pretty big on your page because we're going to put letters over it. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So now what we are going to do is we're going to make a one complete image out of this page. So we go up to share. And we're going to click on download. And we currently only have one page, so um, it, it won't give us the option to select different pages. So we're going to click on download. And then it will bring you to wherever you save all of your images. So we're going to call this a uh, sports car um, mask. And click on save. So I, I generally um, would advise that you try and if once you start a project to, to generate a folder and then have everything in that folder. So then when you go back and try and find it or go to look for it, that you know exactly where it is. Um, it's just a kind of housekeeping. Um, <laughs> it's it's easier to to keep an eye on and manage um, all your files that way. So we're going to click on add page and then we're going to click on uploads and we're going to upload files. And this is where I mean, uh, so we need to go and find literally the file that we've just we've just saved. And once it is in your upload area, we just click on it and then we are going to make it the same size as the background. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and search for some letters. So when you click on elements, and we're just going to reverse that out, and we're going to look for, we're going to click on frames this time. And within frames, we're going to type the letter S. 
and it will give you all of these different kind of uh, shapes of the letter S. So I'm going to go for this one. So and this is where I mean that your image has to be bigger than the letters that you're going to place over it because otherwise the effect kind of doesn't work. So once you have S, we're going to type the word speed. So we're going to look for a P and I think we'll go this P. You can kind of, you can change the, the shape of them. You can make them taller or, um, or wider depending on your word. And then we're going to go E. Might just do lowercase. So you should get um, the, I don't know whether you can see that, but the, there is a pink guideline. Um, so it's that's now clicking to the bottom of the S as opposed to the P. Uh, so we're just going to go there and we're going to duplicate that because we have two E's. And we have one more letter, which is a D. And I think we'll make this a capital just to even it up a bit. And we're going to make it to the same size as the S. OK, and then we're going to just hold shift and click on them all. And we're just going to make it You want some of your letters to be part of the the checkered flag. So we're just going to make it slightly bigger. And just to adjust it just so it um it has the effect. So but there's still plenty of car that's outside of the um, of the letters. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So now we're going to start generating our effect. So we actually don't need this background just for the minute. So we're just going to delete that. It, it was just to kind of um, spatially set our letters. So we're just going to um, click on uploads again and when we click on the image that we just uploaded when you click and hold it'll then snap into the letter so we're going to do that for each letter and then the last one and then so it looks kind of crazy at the minute but we're going to fix that now so when you click on the letter S, when you double click on it, it then you can see like the mask where it has masked it. So we're going to make it the same size as your artboard. So you just kind of click and drag um, edge to edge. And we're going to do the, next, the same with the next one. No. That's why it's important um, initially that you increase the size of your image that you've brought back in because if you don't then the, this kind of doesn't really work because there's no way that you would be able to match them up. Okay, nearly there. Okay, and the last one. Slide that over. Oh, really? Go in now. Okay. So now you have, they're all in the correct place and they're all masked correctly.
which is pretty cool. So now we need to we need to be able to add an effect to this, but we can't add an effect because they're all individual. So we need to make it a complete image again. So we go back up to share and down to download. And this time we need to just deselect all and we're just going to select page two and click on done. So we need to click on transparent background and select download. And we're going to call this speed outline. And once again, you just need to make sure that you know where you're saving it. And then we are going to add a page and we're going to go back to uploads and upload those letters. So we called it speed outline. And once again, you need to make it the full size of your artboard. So now it is one complete image. And now we can, when we click on edit photo, we can go into shadows and we can now add an outline. So that is a little extreme. So we're going to make it about, about 12 or 13 maybe. And we're also going to change it to white. So we actually just can't see that because we obviously have a white background. So I'll just show you what it looks like. So sometimes we need to just add a background just so we can view it. So you can see it there with the gray background. So if you feel that the outline is too thick, you just go back, you literally just click on it back in and um, and reduce it down. So you might want it to be like kind of 10 or or you might want it to be bigger, you know. So, um, so but we're going to make it, yeah, about 12. So now what we go and do is we go back to our um, our Porsche car with with no background and we're just going to right click and we're going to make a copy of it and we're going to go down to this page and we're going to right click again and we're going to paste. So obviously this is now in the front. So we go up to position and we click on layers and we're going to put the car behind our letters. So it's nearly, nearly um, just a match, but not quite. So you just kind of have to fiddle around with it, try and adjust it so it does, it does fit. Maybe that's kind of, you just need to check, see, so there um, it, it kind of doesn't quite match. And now over here, it doesn't quite match. So, let's do move it up slightly. And This is probably the most difficult part, just to get it all to matchy matchy. But that I think is pretty good. Is it? I'm a bit particular and <laughs> it has to all just work perfectly. Okay, so then what we do is we change the background to black. And it is I think it's a really effective um it's a really effective text effect and as i say you can do it with anything you can do it with animals you can do it with objects you could do it with a sport um and so i know some other people have asked just asked can i could i do it for cities or for other subjects so um i just wanted to show you this one which is i've done the word love for Valentine's Day <laughs> and then we have Paris so this is like a girl French flag um, which is is pretty effective as well you can change the color obviously of the um, the outline to anything that you want we could have done it yellow or orange just to match her bags or the blue 
um, and then the last one I did was NYC. So um, as I say, you can do it for any subject and using any letters. Hey, did you learn something new? Why don't you hit the subs or even a like or leave a comment below? Thanks for watching.